guys, just wanted to share an idea with you. Um, if you are into planting, starting a garden, anything like that, this is something that you guys can do at home. A journal. It's a, yeah, it's going to be a planting journal. So Dante and I started planting some seeds inside last week, and we are going to be documenting the journey. And what we are going to do is every, every, maybe every day, maybe every couple of days, it's going to be part of our science and writing to check on the plants, water them, do whatever we need to do for the plants, and write a sentence and draw a picture about it. So I first started by folding a piece of construction paper for Dante, and I took some scrap paper that Daddy brought home from his work, um, and I cut it in half. I wrote out for Dante, my planting journal by Dante, even though he's pretty good at sounding things out, I just wanted him to see how to write it, like including the formatting on his page. So that's what I wrote for him as an example. That's what he did by himself. We've been working really hard on his letters and he's doing such a good job. All right, hold on a second, bud. And what I did with the papers that I cut in half are I wrote the, a space for the date at the top. You don't need to do this, but I did it just so we always remember to do the date um, because I envisioned myself forgetting. So what I had him do for the first day, we actually just started this today, so he had to do two pages in one day. Um, we planted seeds. That's pretty much the only thing we can tell you about that day. So he wrote the date for Friday, which is the day we did it, so 327. Um, and then I had, I had him trace we planted seeds. Right now, he's really good at sounding out words, but as we practice... I want him to start by tracing so he gets practice not only with the right way to make letters, but also um, the spacing in between words and in between letters as well. And also just so he gets used to where to write the sentences, because if I leave it up to him with no guidance, they're going to be all over the place. Um, and then he drew a picture. That's me. That's him. That is the area. It's a drawer set um, where we're keeping our plants and that's us with the seeds um, so that's his first day is me just planting. and this is today's he and has that's not just me. that's just um, me planting that's yep so um he hasn't traced it yet but i wrote in the date for him again just like i said as he gets used to writing all this stuff and then he dictated what he wanted to say to me. So he said, we watered the plants, we saw sprouts. I actually pared down his sentences a little bit. Um, so it wasn't as wordy, but we kept some short sentences on here. So I wrote it out again. We watered the plants, we saw sprouts. So I just did that with a highlighter. You could do it with any light color marker, or you can have them attempt to write it on their own. Like I said, this is just the beginning. So I want him to get used to spacing and the way letters are written, where to write the sentences on the pages. Um, so he'll be tracing for a little while. And then I'm, as days progress, I'll have him try to write words on his own. Um, even if it's just like the first and the first word of the sentence, if it's just sight words, whatever, um, even if he writes one word by himself, we're going to just build from there. So like maybe by the end of the journal, he'll be writing completely by himself. Who knows though? That's pretty lofty for a goal. He's four. I'm being kind of crazy, but what I'm going to do next is I'm putting all of his papers in order. And I'm just going to staple them. I'm doing this one-handed, so can't really do it on the screen. But we're just going to staple them in here. And we will go on from there. So every day that we do something with our plants, because obviously not every day if you're into planting, gardening, whatever. You know not every day there's going to be something interesting happening. But whenever there is, we will update the journal. Even if it's not that interesting, we'll probably do it every couple days. So that's just an idea. Um, it will it covers science because you know planting is science. It covers writing, like the physical writing of letters. So it's good letter practice. Um, it incorporates the date, which helps them stay on track. It's including some art, so pictures, um, them telling you or dictating sentences to you. 
gets them to use their brain, their science-minded brain, and also helps them form sentences. And uh, it'll help them with their phonics, like letter names, sounds, um, once they start sounding it out on their own if they do that. Even just seeing how sentences are structured and um, writing and then reading the words to them will help them memorize some words. And every part of this hits multiple parts of learning. So it's fun for them. It includes some fun things that will pay off for you eventually when your plants grow. And it's something that isn't just a workbook to keep them engaged. I hope this gave you a good idea. You could do it with other stuff too, but we're doing it with planting. Thank you so much.